So we are going to learn today the set of integers. Now to barely understand the set of integers, we will use the number line system. This line here, it represents all real numbers, okay? Now, as we all know in the previous video, that integers are just a subset of all real numbers, okay? So, you know, just a quick history about the uh, number line system. This was discovered by a Napier around 1600 and um, John Wallace used this in his algebra around 1700. So, oftentimes we can see this one in basic algebra. Alright? So, now this line in here, it represents all integers. Like we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. Alright? Now, the zero in here, it is zero or the origin. And all numbers greater than zero, like one, two, three, four, five, and so on, we call them as positive integers. Now, positive integers are greater than zero. And oftentimes, it is uh, the symbol or the sign that we use for positive integers are the sign or a plus sign. Now, we don't need to use this one all the time because, for example, we have 7 in here. Every number that doesn't have a sign like this or a negative sign, it is already understood that it is a positive number. So, for example, this one, it is a positive 7, positive 16, positive 21, positive 27. And on the other side, we have here negative integers. All Numbers less than zero, like negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, and so on, they are negative integers. And it's always that we need to denote them or give them, put a symbol negative sign beside that number. Alright, so for example, negative seven, negative sixteen, negative twenty one, and negative twenty seven. Alright, now. In algebra, we do have this, what we call opposites. Now, the opposite, these are numbers that are of the same distance from zero, but on the opposite side. For example, um, what's the opposite of one? It is negative one. What's the opposite of negative two? It's positive two. What's the opposite of negative three? It's positive three. So, example, if you have negative nine, so the opposite of negative nine is positive nine. And if you have given number 11 and you are asked to find the opposite that is the opposite of that is negative 11 and if you have positive 21 the opposite is negative 21 and if you have negative 36 the opposite is positive 36 